home after many uh, car, train, bus rides. And I was so excited to get home because, um, it's funny, but my aunt actually came to visit. Um, we kind of mixed up our dates and she came here to visit me while I was in the States, um, which totally sucks. But I said, you know, go have fun in the garden because um, she was going to come and uh, help me get the garden ready. And so I was so excited to come home and see all the stuff that she'd done. And she did some amazing, amazing stuff, planted all sorts of things. I don't even know what much of it is. Um, and then I came to the strawberry beds and I was a bit confused because there's not really any strawberries in there anymore. Let me show you uh, what I mean. So all of this, all the way down there, used to be full of gigantic green leaves and white flowers. But as you can see, there's nothing here anymore, and all the strawberries are gone. Let's see, there's like a couple here, but everything has been decimated. Because I know nothing about gardening, and she had mentioned that she was weeding the strawberry bushes, I was like, were all of those leaves weeds? Was I supposed to pull those? Um, but no. Uh, the further I got through exploring the yard, I've just noticed a whole ton of deer poop and probably rabbit poop. And so the little bastards have decimated all of the alpine strawberries and I'm currently trying not to rage. Uh, it's really, really upsetting. I was so, it was so lush. I was so excited about this. Um, I know everybody has warned me, like, watch out, the deer, they're going to ruin everything. And now I finally feel the pain of that. So there's just so much space here. I don't even know, I just don't even know how to cover all this stuff. So I've got some research to do. I mean, there's still a few little handfuls of berries here and there, and some still have to ripen, but uh, man, it freaking sucks. The plus side though, my aunt planted some amazing um, perennials and annuals and she did some Swiss chard, all sorts of fun stuff. Uh, giant dahlia looks amazing, a couple cuties here. And so I'm just gonna have to look at the bright side and I'm going to enjoy every single other super tiny tiny berries that are left there's not too many um god damn look at that all of those stems were big beautiful green leaves before and this is now the carnage i don't know what that is that my aunt planted but man that's a really cool really cool plant um there's some other plants back there that i really love that the deer also ate um so yeah i'm I'm feeling the pain, you guys. We did also plant some Swiss chard, which is really awesome. There's a couple, a couple guys there. Um, tomato plants are doing really well, thank goodness. Um, most of the stuff here is doing pretty well. Some butter lettuce got a couple nibbles, but um, almost everything here is intact, except the beans that did not survive. Got eaten by something. I don't know if that was the deer or what, but uh, butternut squash is doing really amazing. Uh, we got some Swiss chard there and some new uh, dragon peas or beans that, that have just started, so that's cool. Um, nothing growing in here yet. This was pretty luscious before. This was covered in beautiful leaves that looked like that, and now they are no more. So. Everybody had a great time in the backyard. Uh, my aunt did an amazing job here, digging up all of this that was just like weeds and overgrown grass. And uh, yeah, I, I obviously have no idea what I'm doing in the garden. So it was just amazing to have her come here and just plant some new things, take care of things, clean things up, buy some soil. Um, I feel really grateful that she, she came and 
helped out here in a big way. You can also see that this uh, red currant bush looks decidedly much smaller than all the rest. So I'm guessing uh, that was also some deer carnage. She also did some work over here, planted some awesome flowers and just the soil looks so healthy. Um, obviously did some weeding back here and just really cleaned things up and making it look really lush again. Amazing. Also, I don't know if I told you guys or not, but um, I just signed up for a permaculture design certificate, which starts next month. So I am so, so, so excited about that. And one of the things that we have to do is we have to map our space and um, we'll come up with a design project for the space. So um, I've already started making a map of the backyard and uh, I'm just really excited to learn more about how to take care of the space and just some ideas for improving it, improving the soil and understanding how everything connects. So yeah, I'm really excited about that. That starts uh, at the end of next month. Come on. You want your dinner?